to smell what the rock is cooking. Hi there. Hi. I'm Dr. Robert Tuscan. I'll be your provider today. Nice to meet you. Well, what are these about? All right. Well, I'm gonna have to do some probing. Open, uh, pull you down your mask, please. Um. Gonna do some are measuring. Are your uh, hands clean? Um. I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. Did you even clean your hands? Oh, uh, I don't remember. I don't think so. What? When you enter a room, you must wash your hands like so. Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Do you have any questions for me? Why do you wash your hands if you wear gloves anyway? Washing our hands first means we're removing germs before putting our gloves on. That means that if the gloves get damaged, those germs aren't present in your mouth. Germs can also multiply under gloves, so it's important for that too. Why is it important to remove debris? Isn't the germs the problem? Well, both are a problem. The germs because they spread infection, and the debris because if it isn't removed, the germs under the debris are protected and remain behind. I hope you learned the lesson today about the importance of hand hygiene. Thanks, Die Can Man. I learned so much today. Thank you, Die Can Man, for teaching the students. Thank you, Die Can Man. Thank you, Die Can Man. Thank you, Die Can Man. Thank you, Die Can Man, for teaching the students. Thank you, Die Can Man. Thank you, Die Can Man. Dai Can Man, I learned a lot today. <laughs> Thank you, Dai Can Man. Thank you, Dai Can Man. <laughs> Thank you, Dai Can Man. You're really helping us students out. Hi there, I'm Dr. Robert Tussle. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? All right. Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, first, we're just gonna have to rinse before I start anything. All right? Okay, sure. Okay. Oh, pull down your mask. There you go. <laughs> this tastes like dirty biofilm bacteria. Do you even clean these lines? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used to do it like this in my day. Just like this. You just, <laughs> the, the big one will just uh, vacuum out the small one, it's fine. And this is how it's done. <laughs> Are you improperly cleaning your water lines? You must use the proper water line cleaning techniques! At the beginning and end of every day, as well as after each and every patient, it is imperable that you clean and flush these water lines as so. To initiate the flush, toggle the switch in the back of the machine. Do you have any questions for me? What do you do to stop germs from building up in the dental unit water line and causing infections? We treat our dental unit water lines on an ongoing basis with products specially designed for this purpose. We also test the water regularly as recommended by the CDC to make sure that everything is working and that germs aren't able to build up in the tubing. water be bad isn't it from the same place as the water we drink from home and the taps and sometimes the toilet why yes the water is from the public water supply 
It's the long, narrow tubes that are needed to supply water to our dental equipment that makes the difference. When water lingers in the tubing or moves very slowly, germs can build up inside the tubing and multiply. Thanks, Doc Cam, man. I've learned so much with you today. I, I, you know, I, I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you. You're welcome, kind sir. Hey, thank you, Dieter Man, for teaching my student about PPE, infection disease, and infection control. Nice job. Thank you, Dieter Man. Thanks, Dieter Man. Thank you, Dieter Man. Thank you, Dieter Man. Thank you, Dieter Man. Thank you, Dieter Man. Dieter Man. Thank you, Dieter Man. Thank you, Dieter Man. Thank you, Dieter Man. Die cam man? Die cam man? Did that die cam man? Hi there. Hi there. I'm Hi. Dr. Robitussin. Hi. Um, let's skip all the formalities and get right into the uh, root canal. Um, just pull your mask down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are those instruments sterilized? No, don't worry. Um, the last patient that was here, I didn't even get to use this on them, so it's totally new and clean. Uh, you know, I, I promise. That open pack of instruments is completely unacceptable! You need to use a proper sealed and sterilized package! Do you have any questions for me? What do you do with the instruments after you've used them on a patient? We follow CDC guidelines on how we treat instruments. We clean and sterilize our instruments after use on every patient so that we have sterile instruments when we treat you. How do you sterilize the instruments anyways? I'm a little curious. First, we clean our instruments. That's because if there are any debris stuck to the instruments, it would not be possible to properly sterilize them. After that, we place them in special closed pouches or wrap them. Then we place these in a sterilizer that kills every germ present on the instruments. The end result is cleaned and sterile instruments for each of our patients. In fact, our sterilizer is so powerful, it can even take care of that treacherous COVID-19 virus. And now you know to only use clean and sterilized instruments. Thank you, Dicam Man. I learned a lot today. Thank you, Dicam Man, for teaching the students. Thank you, Dicam Man. I learned so much today. Thank you, Dicam Man. Thank you, Dicam Man. My son is learning a lot today. Thank you, Dicam Man. Thank you, Dicam Man, for teaching the students. Thank you, Dicam Man. Thank you, Dicam Man. Thank you again for teaching the students, Dicam Man. <laughs> Thank you, Dicam Man. Thank you, Dicam Man, yeah. Do I look okay? Yeah, you look Hollywood ready, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Action. All right. Thank you, Dicam Man. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Dr. Robitussin. Oh man, not you again. Is that what you're wearing? Jeez. Before entering your operatory, it is imperative that you put on the proper PPE in the correct order. If you forget exactly what the order is or what PPE should go where, Please refer to the chart hanging in your local donning area. Your personal protective equipment is there to ensure your safety and that those pesky little microbes do not get onto your person. Thank you, Dr. Cam, man. That was so helpful. I appreciate everything you, you sort of do for me and everything. Wait! You can't leave the clinic before you duff! Oh. When it's time to remove your personal protective equipment, make sure to follow the instructions and order of doffing in your local clinic's doffing area. Wherever you see hand hygiene in red and an asterisk, make sure that it is the gloves that you are cleaning as you go. Thank you, Dicam Man. I learned a lot today. Thank you, Dicam Man, for teaching the students. Thank you, Dicam Man. I learned so much today. 
Thank you, Die Can Man, for teaching our students. Oh, thank you, Die Can Man. Thanks, Die Can Man. Thank you, 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 Die Can Man. You glorious hero. Just want to say, thank you, Die Can Man. Dental Fetch Control saves lives. I'm from Canada.